VWAP. What is the VWAP and what is it used for? What is the whole purpose of the VWAP? How does it work? I'm gonna break it down in this video. So you can see here, taking a look at CIEN, one of the stocks that I shorted today, looking at the VWAP. The white line here on the chart is the VWAP. The VWAP stands for the Volume Weighted Average Price. It is a trading benchmark used, especially with larger stocks, you know, larger institutional buyers are using the VWAP app for some of the larger stocks, some of the big name blue chip stocks, kind of looking at the VWAP, app, kind of getting an idea of how they can build a position inside of a stock without really bumping the price up too much and getting a good buy. A lot of the big institutionals are trying to buy near the VWAP app or right below the VWAP, app, kind of right there and looking to get in there. And so it's a volume weighted average price. The whole idea is that the bigger institutional buyers are using the view app as an area to buy without disturbing the price so they're trying to buy near the view app or right below it and that's kind of the game plan so the view app is a formula it's the number of shares bought times the share price divided by the total shares bought for the day in that time frame so you can see here kind of the view app follows the big moves here on cien how we had that pre-market kind of bouncing around, holding the view app, and then boom, breaking through the view app there at nine o'clock, and then moving lower, 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 and just getting down there below the view app, staying below the whole view app the whole time. And then once that momentum changed, once we got that move higher, once that trend changed, once it wanted to move higher, got up to that view app, kind of got some resistance support there, bouncing off that view app for a little bit for about you know 30, 40 minutes, and then boom, making that move higher again, got up there. The trend changed, it came back down here and broke through the VWAP once again, and bang, 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 and then now the VWAP turns into resistance there and it moves lower as the day goes on. So kind of looking at the VWAP as an indicator kind of where there might be possible support, where there might be possible resistance, looking at the VWAP as an idea that people are gonna be buying near the VWAP or they're gonna be selling once it cracks to the VWAP there and changes that trend. So like I said, the VWAP is a lagging indicator Obviously, sometimes you'll have stocks that get right near the view app. They look like they're gonna break down or look like they're gonna crash and then bounces off there and the view app just keeps on going. So the view app has a lot to do with the price of the stock and the volume. So really the view app is pretty simple, giving you an idea of the volume, the average price sold, and giving you that kind of trend area. The big thing is just having it on your chart, having an idea of where the view app is. If you're looking to short, if you're looking to buy, kind of looking at that, where there possibly might be some resistance at, where there might be support, so if you were buying this dip here at the 2150 area, it got back up there to that 2180 area and you saw the VWAP there, you're thinking, okay, there could be possible resistance there. This could reverse and head lower. The same idea here when you're buying right there at the VWAP, you're kind of looking for that move higher here and kind of buying right in that area. And then this morning, if you're looking to go short and you're looking to go short here at that VWAP break, it breaks through the VWAP, goes all the way down here to 2235 and then pulls down, pulls down. This is just right there at open, get that one big spike at open, it comes back, breaks back down through the view app and then heads lower. So kind of just another indicator to add to your chart, have an idea of what to look for, where other people are looking for, what other traders are looking for, what institutional buyers and computers and all the different algorithms are trading off of. They're watching the view app, they're looking at the overall volume on the day, looking for stocks with a lot of volume, looking for stocks with that view app bouncing across there. The view app will be pretty steady across the day, kind of heading depending on the volume and the average price of the shares being traded. Once you get that big spike in volume, once you get a big spike in price action, you're gonna get a big move in the view app. And the same thing when the stock goes down, you're gonna get that move lower. But you can see kind of as the day went on, the stock didn't really move that much. It went from 2185 up there to 2240. And the view app just slowly moved higher. Kind of the same thing once it sold off, the view app just moved on across there. So really on a very volatile, crazy stock, you're gonna see a lot more moves in the view app. But overall, really just looking at the view app as a daily indicator, kind of when you're trading, kind of where that average volume is, where that average price is. And, and there it is. There's so many different theories and ideas and formulas and ways that people trade off the view app. But for me, I'm just kind of keeping an eye on the view app as a possible indicator for resistance or support. Like I said, if I'm going short here, and it starts to go lower. I'm kind of watching the view app as it's heading down, kind of watching the view app, looking for that resistance to kick in there. You know, if I would have shorted here earlier and I was holding through all this and then all of a sudden we get that break at the view app, I'd probably be looking like, okay, that could be bad. It might get a reverse here. It might get a move higher. And that's what happened here on CIEN. Giving you guys an idea of what to look for, how to add that to your chart, add the view app to your chart, get an idea there on the volume weighted average price. <laughs>